Hey, hope all is well. My name is Jamie Fenn, and today we're gonna to talk about an effect that has actually been around for quite some time now. The first time I saw this effect was actually in a movie called Limitless. It's a really cool movie if you haven't seen it. There's also two ways to do this. There's the easy way, which I'm gonna show you how to do, and then there's the advanced way, which is kind of hard unless you've got the right equipment. So let's get started. So the first way is the easy way, and that is with photographs. I took a series of photographs, one with a wide angle, which is about 16 millimeters. Then I took another one that is about 24 millimeters. Then I took another one, which was like about 105, and this was all on a cropped sensor. But if you have like a 200, that would be best. And also the higher resolution image that your camera produces will allow you to actually zoom more. I'm shooting on a GH5, and so, you know, just about three or four pictures should get a good effect for a certain amount of distance. So I'm gonna drag in the first photograph, which is the wide angle, and I'm gonna drag it to be about six, maybe 10 seconds long. The longer the clip is, the easier it is to adjust the speed of the zoom. Then I'm gonna do the mid shot, and I'm going to adjust that to be the same length as the clip below it. And then the last one is gonna be the zoom so highlight all the clips, right click, select new fusion clip, put the playhead marker over the clip that we want to adjust in fusion and click on fusion. So I'm going to name these. This is the wide shot. This is the mid shot. And then this is like the telephoto shot. So I'm going to move this merge out of the way and I'm only going to use one merge node here. And I want to make sure the wide shot is the shot that's going to be in the background. Everything else is going to be in the foreground. So I'm going to put this here like that. Next is the mid shot. So we are going to attach this to the foreground. I have my viewer window over here, number two, which is showing the media out, which is all the nodes here combined. And I'm going to want to click on the mid shot and hold down shift spacebar and type in transform. Then we are going to adjust the properties of this clip. We're gonna come up to the inspector. We're gonna turn the size down. And we're gonna turn the size down to the point where the shot will actually match up with the one underneath it. So for this tutorial, I'm not gonna match it up perfectly, but you'll get the idea. So that matches up all right. The next thing we want to do is we're gonna click on the mid node and then add a rectangle tool. And we are going to drag it to the point where it's almost touching the outside of the photo here. And we're gonna to wanna to turn up the soft edge a little bit and bring down the border width. And that will somewhat blend these two photographs together. If you wanna add a color corrector node to match the shots better, you can do that as well. So now we're gonna add the telephoto shot. I'm going to hold down shift spacebar Type in merge, put the merge node here in between the merge that we put previously. Now we're gonna attach the telephoto to this merge node, which will now put this on the foreground. Click on the node tele and hold down shift, press spacebar, type in transform, and that will bring up the same properties that we did for the middle shot. And we want to come back up here to our inspector and size this down and match this shot up with the shot that is down here. And I'm gonna hold down Command and use the scroll wheel to zoom in and adjust the size of this photo to the point where this matches up here like that. That shot actually matches up pretty well but we are going to still do just a little bit of feathering around the edge of the picture. So we're gonna do what we did on the middle shot, click on Tele, add the rectangle tool, bring it up to the point where it kind of just comes outside of the frame of the photo. You can see it affecting the photo right about here. I'm gonna turn up the soft edge just a little bit and bring down the border width just a tiny bit. Now we have a composite of just three images. And in order to get the zoom effect, we want to scroll to the beginning of our clip by moving the playhead all the way to the beginning. We're going to come down in between the merge node here and the media out. And I'm going to hold down shift spacebar, type in transform. 
and make sure the transform is between this merge node and the media out. We are going to keyframe the size by coming over here to the keyframe button. Click on the button, and then we're going to come to the end of the clip, and then we're going to bring up the size. Default only allows us to go to about five, but if you type in a number, you can actually go beyond what it limits you to. So I'm going to type in like maybe 50. And what's great is if you want to change the middle of the shot, you can come up to the pivot points here and adjust the center point to what you want it by adjusting the pivot points. I'm going to let this render out real quick and I'll show you what it looks like with a linear zoom on it. So as you can see, it like goes really fast in the beginning and then it slows down towards the end. If you go into Fusion and you click on the Transform tool here and you come up to the Spline option, click on Size, and then come over to the beginning of the clip, you'll see that there's a linear line right here. And this is representing the transform keyframing. If you click on this first keyframe, this part of the line turns green. You can actually turn this down. Now with the linear line adjusted with a curve in it, this is what it looks like. And that's the easy way to do it with photos. And just a heads up, if you do this effect and you go out and you want to shoot something, start with your telephoto lens. That way you can pinpoint the focus point when you're zoomed all the way in on something and then work your way backwards. Now, the advanced way, I looked it up on how they did it in the movie Limitless. They actually had three red cameras, all with different lenses. They put the cameras as close as possible together and then they all shot the same video at the same time. And they did this exact technique where you kind of layer the composites of these photos here but instead of photos you do it with video don't forget to like and subscribe comment below if you haven't yet and i'll see you in the next video thanks